From Delaware's most award-winning radio news team, this is WDEL Video News. Here's Chris Carl. Among Delaware's top stories for Thursday, May 10th, state lawmakers discuss gas and cigarette tax hikes. The man accused of killing a school bus driver is in court. And the Wilmington Flower Market opens today. Here are the details. Lawmakers aren't quite ready to increase the state's gas tax, forcing you to pay more at the pump. WDEL legislative correspondent Carl Konevsky reports from Dover. The five cent per gallon gas tax hike, along with increases in vehicle documentation and registration fees, was part of a bill debated by the House Revenue and Finance Committee Wednesday afternoon. House Minority Leader Bob Gilligan says the proposal from the governor will most likely be picked apart in negotiations, but something has to be done. They gave us a lot of different proposals. We put them all in one package, and hopefully if they don't like one part of the package, they can take that out. But one thing is for certain, we do need um, revenue enhancers in order to fund construction of roads in this state. The committee also tabled a bill to raise the state's cigarette tax. While the estimated $42 million in generated income would be earmarked for health-related services, State Representative Bob Valahira, a Tallyville Republican, says the bill is nothing more than a money-making venture. If we really want to talk about preserving the health of our citizens, you need to take that tax and put it so it, it becomes a disincentive for the vast majority of people to be smoking. Uh, we are far below that disincentive level. Uh, and if we want to protect people's health, we need to go higher. The tax would go up 45 cents to $1 a pack. Reporting from Legislative Hall in Dover, I'm Carl Konefsky, 1150 AM, WDEL. Meantime, Senate Republicans say there's a better way to address the state's financial woes. Senate Minority Leader Charlie Copeland says the governor's plan for tax increases puts the cart in front of the horse. Normally the place to start when you notice that your revenues and your expenses are starting to get a little out of whack is how do I decrease my expenses before we start going to the taxpayer and saying we need more from you. And we have seen nothing from this administration on what are we going to do to tighten our belt. Copeland says the last time the state's budget was tight, the governor went to each state agency and instructed them to cut spending by 5%. A state police detective says they have a matching print on a knife found near where a school bus driver was murdered. Testifying at a preliminary hearing for Jermise Ross, a detective said he found the knife May 3rd after Elizabeth Ware's body was found the day before inside her school bus. He said there was a partial palm print from Ross on the knife's handle, and police say they found blood on his sneakers. Ware was stabbed 14 times in her bus, which was still running. The school official who found her said she was still in her seat with the seatbelt on. The case has been ordered moved to Superior Court. Wilmington police are investigating an afternoon shooting in a park near the Hicks Anderson Community Center. It was a quick call by an off-duty cop working at the center that co got cops to the scene when he reported the shooting in progress shortly after 1 p.m. One victim suffered a gunshot wound to the arm in the 600 block of North Madison Street. Police say the men escaped after the shooting in a black Chevy Monte Carlo. Why UD's president was talking about Virginia Tech. WDEL News continues in a moment. As you look for your college experience, make sure you look at Wilmington College, your key to success. As the dust settles after the tragedy last month at Virginia Tech, state lawmakers wanted to know how the University of Delaware would fare in a similar situation. WDEL's Carl Konevsky reports. University of Delaware President Dave Rosell spoke to a joint meeting of the House and Senate Education Committees to give an update on campus security in the wake of the massacre in Blacksburg. Rosell says the school will be ready with the notification plan by the start of next school year, but doesn't like the idea in a bill sponsored by Representative Joe Moreau to install warning sirens on campus. When a siren is blown, people are conditioned to leave the building. And you, it's not hard to imagine a, a crisis situation where that's exactly the wrong thing to do. You know, you can imagine had they blown it at the University of Texas a few years ago and people went out of their buildings and a sniper was up on top of the tire, he'd have had more targets. Roselle told lawmakers school officials didn't deserve all the blame they took for not notifying the campus after the first two murders, deaths that seemed to be a domestic incident. It's not very often where a murderer commits murders and then goes to the post office and so forth and comes back 
two hours later or two and a half hours later and commits more murders. Roselle says the University of Delaware is working on a text messaging notification system capable of sending 20,000 messages per second. Carl also tells us Delaware may soon become the second state to ban insurance carriers from using credit history when settling premium rates. The state Senate passed a bill prohibiting the practice of credit scoring. State Insurance Commissioner Matt Den says legislation passed was a compromise bill, but he still sees it as a victory. Existing customers of insurance carriers will not be able to have their credit used against them if they have a, a bad credit event. It's only new customers for whom credit will be used in setting their rates. So we would have preferred the original bill that would have prevented the use of credit for all customers, but this is going to help an awful lot of people. The bill now goes to the House of Representatives, and Dead says he hopes enough lawmakers realize how many people are hurt by the practice and the bill gets passed. In, in the intervening year, a lot of House members have heard from their constituents that this is an issue that they want dealt with. It's received a lot of publicity over the last 12 months, and it's something that people across uh, political lines and across socioeconomic lines just think is a bad thing for the insurance companies to be doing. It's just it's unfair. Only Hawaii bans the use of credit history for both home and auto insurance. Reporting from Legislative Hall in Dover, I'm Carl Konefsky, 1150 AM, WDEL. Police are looking for a man after a bear woman was carjacked yesterday. The 42-year-old victim says she left her car running in front of her home in Forest Glen yesterday morning. As she returned to the car, a man pushed her to the ground and took off. The carjacker was last seen heading towards Route 40 in the victim's green Ford Aerostar. Well, the approach of Mother's Day means something special to Delawareans. It means it's time for the annual Wilmington Flower Market. WDEL's Brian Smith reports. The festival has been held in the days leading up to Mother's Day every year since 1921. Appropriately, many families have grown up with the event, according to Chris Sabatino, this year's chairperson. Children come with their parents in strollers. They grow up with the Wilmington Flower Market every year. They become parents and they bring their children and it's a, it's a generational thing. Now, if you've never been to the flower market before, it's a fun festival of rides, food and, of course, flowers. It starts this morning at Rockford Park and runs from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. today, tomorrow, and Saturday. Brian Smith, 11.50 a.m., WDEL. The Phils win one in grand style. WDEL Sports and your Delaware Active with a forecast coming up. Oh. Is everything okay, ma'am? Not really. I need to ride door tomorrow to get to work, and I forgot to buy my door cart. I guess I have to find a ride. Well, you certainly come to the right place. Didn't you know that Acme now sells door cards and paratransit multi-trip cards? No, where? They're available at our customer service desk. Getting you there now starts at your 12 Delaware neighborhood Acme markets. Dart and Acme have joined in partnership to be your one-stop shopping place for both groceries and Dart cards. It's now easier and more convenient than ever to pick up your Dart cards with Acme. I'm Peter MacArthur. I'm Melanie Armstrong, and here are Delaware's top stories at the top of the hour. The most complete coverage of the news that matters in Delaware, every weekday morning, 5.30 till 9, on 1150 AM WDEL. In WDEL Sports, the Phillies hadn't scored a run until Randy Johnson left the game and Brian Howard came to bat. Howard's pinch hit grand slam, started the Phillies' offense as they routed the Arizona Diamondbacks 9-3. Jamie Moyer got the win, giving up three runs on six hits and seven innings of work. Brett Myers nailed down the win with a two-inning save. The Phils are off today before opening a 10-game homestand tomorrow against the Cubs. And the suddenly unbeatable Blue Rocks rolled to their sixth straight win with a 10-0 round of Lynchburg last night. The Rocks sent 11 men to the plate in a six-run third inning. The win leaves the Blue Rocks just two games under 500 and three games out of first place. They wrap up their four-game series with Lynchburg tonight at Frawley Stadium. Your WDEL Delaware Accu with a forecast, clouds and some fog to start today. Then clouds and sun mixed later on, maybe a late day shower or thunderstorm. Today's high 80. Tonight, partly to mostly cloudy, low 60. Tomorrow, the clouds give way to some sunshine, but a shower or thunderstorm still around with a high reaching 82. Good news updates throughout the day. Delaware's top stories at the top of the hour on 1150 AM WDEL or anytime right here at WDEL.com. Including news video from Delaware and around the world, WDEL and the Associated Press. I'm Chris Carl. Thanks for watching.